Hi there, welcome back to the channel. This is a channel dedicated not only to my 2012 Jeep Rubicon, but to Jeeps in general. So you've been bombing around the mud with your buddies all day long in conditions that needed you to lock your locker. Well, your day is over, it's time to pack up, and guess what? Your e-locker is stuck in the locked position. This is a repair you can do out on the trail with minimal supplies, but I can tell you it won't be fun. It is, however, the only way you'll be able to drive your Jeep home. Here's what you'll need. You have to remove your diff cover to access the locking mechanism. As soon as I removed my cover, I saw that the e-locker plate was in fact in the locked position and it wasn't moving. If this does happen to you on the trail, just grab a flat blade screwdriver and give it a twist. So how does this e-locker work anyways? The underlying technology here is an electromagnet. When the e-locker is engaged, the locking plate should move to the left. The indicator on your dash should stay solid, indicating that the diff is fully locked. When the unlock button is pressed, the plate should slide to the right. The lights on the dash should turn off and the indicator should not be blinking. You really don't want to do this repair on the trail, but if you do have to do this repair on the trail, it's really not too bad. Uh, the one thing you do need is a lube locker uh, that will eliminate uh, the need for you to carry silicone and it's kind of an instant seal. Also carry whatever tools you need to get your diff housing off. Uh, a flat blade screwdriver to just kind of prop that um, the slide open if it is stuck in the locked position and then obviously your favorite favorite fluid. So it is a fairly basic repair that you can do on the trail. I have seen online a few guys are uh, strategically drilling holes in their, their diff cover so that they can just take out a grub screw, stick in their flat blade, you know, give, give it the twist and unlock the mechanism without having to take the diff cover off and more importantly without having to drain any fluid. Uh, that's kind of a wrap for this video and I hope you found this uh, useful and if you did please smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all out on the trail. Hopefully not with a stuck e-locker. I'm out of here.